Hi, it's Chester Togba from Blue PK and Computer Training. In this video, we're looking at the hash ref error, uh, why it occurs on your worksheet, and how to avoid it. So, what have we got? We've got this basic scenario. We've got some sales figures here. Uh, we've got a total here for these months, and then we've got a commission value here. And the commission value is basically. Um, this amount here minus the 2500 threshold times the commission rate so for that total we get this commission so all of these values are basically relying on this value over here the eight percent now if i was to delete these values and i mean literally delete the cells that contain those values uh, and then I have to deal with this situation where I have to tell Excel where I, what I want to do with surrounding cells, so I'll shift them up. You'll see that I get this error. So that is the most obvious reason why you would get the ref error. Basically, it means you're referencing a cell that no longer exists on your worksheet. So we deleted those cells. We shifted the other cells up, um, and therefore it can no longer find uh, the reference to that cell. If I undo and I merely delete, so all I'm doing is pressing delete on my keyboard. If I delete those cells, I don't get the ref error. I don't get any values because we're now multiplying by zero. But I didn't actually delete the cells, so it doesn't cause the ref error. So it's when you actually delete the cells that you get this problem. Now, another scenario where you uh, might get this ref error is when you um, cut and paste values on top of the cell references that you're referring to in your formulas so for example i might have written down here new commission rate 10 percent i'm going to cut it so let's go up to cut here and then i'm going to select these cells and i'm going to paste and it pastes the values in and you think well there we are there's my new value that i want this uh, uh, formula to refer to but it doesn't do that because by cutting and pasting you're actually getting rid of the cells that were originally there uh, it's not terribly obvious that that's happened but the same thing has happened there we've cut and pasted so it's got rid of the values uh, got rid of the cells that were originally there if I undo that and I was to copy so let's copy these and paste I don't get that problem so it's only cutting and pasting that causes the issue. I could then obviously delete those cells because uh, we don't need them anymore. So avoid the cut and paste, do the copy and paste. Uh, that, that solves the problem. Um, now, interestingly, let's look at this sum function here. Can you see, um, a bit unconventionally here, what I've done is add up the cell references, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. But rather than using a range, I've used the individual cell addresses. Now, normally you don't do that, but just to prove a point here, if I was to delete July, I get the ref error. Now, I haven't got the ref error in the rest of these formulas because they are using ranges. So ranges can cope with the fact that you delete a column or a row within that range. But if you're referring to individual cell addresses, you can get this problem, this ref error, where you've actually deleted a column. So where at all possible, if you are using some functions or anything like that, use ranges rather than uh, individual cell addresses, then it just becomes a little bit more adaptable. OK, so that's the ref error uh, occurs when you delete cells or you uh, cut and paste cells over cells that you're referring to in your formulas. OK, hopefully that was helpful.